I think that jazz is often a cloud of desultory notes. And then so silences. And then all of a sudden you'll have one note or boom, everybody will be in there again. And that is what you see on the, the ground. The ground is just a technical term artists use to mean the, the surface on which they're painting. And then they work that surface until it gets more interesting, and they call that an interesting ground, uh, which it certainly is, because it's all bits of jazz picked up and pasted together again. The composition is that of Frank Glover. I think that it's best to just see the whole lot as a series that we would call Variations on a Theme by Glover, because it's all Frank Glover's work all cut up and pasted back together again, as of course is appropriate uh, with jazz. And if you look at it, on the, the ground you see all sorts of, of little bits of music, just as you do with jazz, all over the place. And then there is a, a brush has come in, and that brush, a good fat brush, maybe, anyway, two, three inches wide, has gone zap and zap zap and made a shape plop right on top of all those little tiny marks. Then I took a pencil, a graphite pencil, and made another whoop ti jump ti toop bump, which holds the large shape in place and unifies the painting. And that, of course, is just all uh, art talk uh, describing how the painting took place. But I listen to jazz a lot, particularly if it's live. I, I really, I want to be there. I like to see how when a jazz group is playing, they can be all over the map and then suddenly they come together, just like that. And I think that the overlying graphic line had that effect.